the day I start my outhouse hole. Yeah, still alone, still alone in the woods. Because this lovely beauty, it is a 2007 model, had a hole that was dug about, <laughs> no, not that low, probably about four feet is about as far as I got before I decided that that was just too much. It is very clayey here. Um, there's lots of trees and roots to go through, but luckily those are, you know, just on the top layer. So you usually have to hatch your way through yours. Full disclosure, I've had quite a few years of digging experience. I am a trained archeologist. <laughs> I worked as one for a few years. And um, so we did a lot of shoveling. And we had to shovel fast and you had pressure. Shovel, shovel, dig those holes fast and uh, try and look for stuff while you're at it. <laughs> Excited to start the new project because it's not taking down fencing and it's not um, hauling brush or cutting trees, it's shoveling. You can see the door. This is made of my flooring material that's upstairs in my cabin. It's really heavy, <laughs> so the door is a beast. I think I'm gonna have to take it apart to redo it or to move it because I also don't want um, that little pedestal there. I don't really like that, <laughs> it's kind of an odd, Odd outhouse design, I think. I don't know. I want to have, like, you kind of wasting space on the side, right? You know? Some lovely outhouse designs out there, if you've taken a look around or you've visited any. Um, people really do them up fancy. There's, like, luxury outhouses out there, and this is not one of them. I've always envied the luxury outhouse people because I've always wanted one, but I've never really cared that much to put any time into it. So you can see mine is very blah drab. I've got the uh, Rubbermaid containers for my toilet paper. I have a decoration. So I've got that. Yep. Um, this little lovely flake flower arrangement. Beautiful. Some air freshener, which does not work in the winter, obviously. It's frozen. Little mini red lantern that I won from a dog sled race. That was, that's when you come in last place, which we did often. I have many of these, some bigger ones too. Candles, which I don't think I've ever used out here. I should maybe light them one day. Anyways, I wanna make it a little bit more of a fun experience when you come into my outhouse. So that's the goal. As for where I'm going to put the outhouse and dig the new hole, I'm thinking of just doing it right beside it so I don't have to move it too far. I think it's easiest to just put it there. So, that's the plan. I guess I should get digging now instead of yapping. Yap, yap, yappity yap. Look at these three. They're adorable, but they're totally useless. <laughs> oh, sure, they entertain me but they are not very good at helping me with anything. Even digging. Actually, once I start digging, I bet they will help a little bit. So they might uh, come in handy today, we'll see. So I'm going to first create my outline. I'm going to stomp through the dirt and make the square for the shovel, make the square for the hole, and then I will start digging up the topsoil. And here's Fossey. You may see her in all of my videos, hanging out. I often, I didn't know she did this until I started watching my videos, but she's always standing near me and then she sits and waits for me to finish because she, the others go off and run around, do their own thing, but yeah, she likes to hang out with me and give me support. Maybe she's given me that encouragement that I need by just being present. I'm going to kind of cut along in the middle one way and then the other way so um, and then I will pick up the shovel out the topsoil um, from those squares so it makes them a little bit smaller and um, more manageable to take out so 
And you, I think you go a bit faster than just like shoveling at it like a maniac with no plan. And I have a plan. Very happy with the way that turned out. The uh, initial outline of the uh, square might have hit one small root and there might be one in the one end. It's a little bit deeper, but overall I got all the way through without hitting a hard root that I had to, I'm going to have to cut through. So that is very promising. <laughs> So I'm going to be using some of this dirt and to fill up the rest of the old hole. <laughs> Make it on the wood pile. See the dirt here is quite, quite clay, crumbly, but uh, really wet, probably because of the rain, but uh, very wet, moist, and uh, clay. It's not too hard to get through now. This is actually pretty easy. Yeah, dig, dig, help me. Oh. oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, make yourself useful. Go, Pooh Bear. Go, Pooh Bear, keep going, keep going. Oh. Sure, they'll dig holes where I don't want them to dig holes. He's just looking for a spot to lay down. <laughs> It'd be great if they actually, you know, pushed it out of the hole. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Go Pooh Bear, go, good job. She's like, this is too hard. I know, tell me about it. There's my little sitter. Oh, 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 she's actually kicking some out. Oh, there's a big root down there. Oh, she just tripped on her face. Hey, Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear! <laughs> she just dirt all over her face. <laughs> okay, bye. Had enough. Okay, now I guess I gotta do it. 
posse. You're kind of in the way. Not bad. I'm pretty happy with the progress. I'm spending about an hour on that and getting through all the topsoil and um, getting a little bit down into the clay. So only about six and a half more feet to go. Right, Willow? Eat a cider. Mmm, crisp apple cider. That hits a spot on a not very warm, windy, kind of rainy. But the sun's coming out. Day. Dig, Sadie, dig. Dig. Come on, help. Well, I made some pretty good headway. Uh, first couple hours of digging, and I've gotten down to about three feet. But then I hit something I didn't really expect to hit. Permafrost. Or some kind of frost, anyways. I hit ice, basically. And now <laughs> I can barely dig anything. So... I'm going to have to wait for it to see if it thaws a little bit and then dig just a little bit by a little bit. There's the hole, um, just about three feet down. And uh, you can see, get down in here. Bugs are coming out because they love this, but you can see right there. That is ice. <laughs> a few little bits of frost down there, so... Yeah, it's quite cold and cool down here. So the bugs are coming out. They love it. The permafrost sucks. Always thawing something out, no matter what time of year. <laughs> oh, that's what you get for living in the north, though. What can you do? Keep you posted on what happens with this uh, thawing of the outhouse pit. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. And hopefully I can get back at it in a couple days. Um, Temperatures aren't really going below freezing now, so it shouldn't take too long for that to thaw out a little bit at a time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to give the it's a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.